when you look at the Xperia XA Ultra, the first thing that strikes you is the gorgeous 6 inch bezel-less LCD display. Now this is not a triluminous display like the ones on the Xperia X and the Xperia XZ but as you can see I can barely tell the color difference uh, between the two. Now although the Xperia XA Ultra has a 6 inch uh, LCD display it doesn't really feel that big in your hands uh, mainly because of the bezel-less display and uh, on this phone I can easily type with one hand. Let me just show you. So if I want to type hello how are you doing now as you can see I can easily type with one hand and uh, I have absolutely no problems out in of the holding box the, the Xperia XA Ultra runs Android 6 Marshmallow so let me quickly show you the Android version if I go to settings scroll down about phone here you can see Android 6 and it's got a security patch level of 5th September 2016 now Sony has slightly customized Android experience on this phone if you have ever used a Sony phone you'll be familiar with this so this is how the Android home looks like you long press the uh, home screen to go to settings here you can add or remove the different home screens you can change their settings, you can change the paint transition, you can change the icon size. You have wallpaper selection over here, live wallpapers. Get different widgets, you can add or remove them. And you also get these different themes, which you can download off of the Play Store. Other customizations also include a Sony custom music player. This music player is extremely easy to use. And if we go to settings, all the different sound enhancement are available, like Clear Audio Plus. You also get these equalizers, which is pretty cool. The sound quality is pretty good. Uh, also, the speaker sound quality is pretty good too and this is how the album looks like it's a sony custom album you get different options of browsing your content here speaking of sound let me just show you how this phone actually sounds the uh, external speaker is pretty loud and clear so if you go to no copyright sounds if I play this song now youtube won't do justice to this so uh, you gotta go to a store and listen to this. Seriously, guys. Now, this is pretty loud. And no, you don't get stereo speakers. It's a single speaker right at the bottom here. There you go, loud and crisp sound quality. Let us talk a bit about the specifications. So the Xperia XA Ultra runs a MediaTek Helio P10 processor 6755 variant, uh, which is sort of a mid-range CPU. Uh, it is paired with 3 gigabytes of system memory, out of which uh, around 1.5 gigabytes will be usable now it's showing 1.3 because I have all these applications open so we're gonna close these one by one and we'll see how much RAM is available once all of these are closed so now you can see 1.6 gigabyte of RAM is free so this phone should perform alright when it comes to multitask we're gonna test that just now another downside of this phone is the internal memory this phone comes with 16 gigabytes of internal memory out of which 10 gigabytes is available to the user. So once you start installing your applications, it'll go down fairly quickly. You can see around 3.4 gigabytes is available to me. And I have barely installed any applications on this phone. 
so that kind of sucks but it's all right I would also like to point out that the Xperia XA Ultra has a fairly decent battery life. Uh, you'll get around full day backup with a single charge. Uh, the battery capacity is 2700 mAh and let me just show you what kind of battery life I get. So if we go to battery usage, uh, you can see I unplugged the phone around uh, 10 am yesterday and the current battery level is around 24%. Uh, I did not make any uh, phone calls, but I did make around 10 minutes of WhatsApp voice call. Uh, the screen on time is around 4 hours 38 minutes, which is fairly decent for a big screen size phone like this. Uh, also, I've been using the camera, Snapchat, B612 and other stuff. So, And I have been extensively using WhatsApp. So I would say the battery life is... Um, fairly decent it's nowhere as good as the Xperia XZ or even the Xperia X or even the Xperia Z3 compact uh, Z3 compact has probably the best uh, best battery life of all I can clock around 7 hours of screen time screen on time on this phone uh, between recharges but yeah if you consider how big the screen is I'd say the battery level is so okay. let's try doing no a bit of multitasking on this phone and see how it performs So what I'm doing here is launching a couple of apps and then we'll switch through all of these apps and see how well the phone performs. Uh, probably shouldn't have launched the Play Memories app. That application always resets the Wi-Fi connection. So, so far so good. It's running alright. Uh, I can't can't really feel any sort of slowdown with my phone. So far, it's so good. It's running fine. So what I'm gonna do here is check the RAM usage. So CPU Z, 1.1 gigabytes of RAM is still available. Camera is working, no problem. Let me open up a web page. I already have Chrome web browser open. Steam web page loads, loads up just fine. Yeah guys, the MediaTek Helio P10 is pretty good. Is a pretty good processor. Uh, like you can see, uh, absolutely no problems in using my phone. And you can see how many applications I have I have here opened up. Right, so now I'm gonna multitask and go back to, say for example, let's go back to Instagram. As you can see, no problems. So you're browsing on your Chrome web browser and suddenly you feel the urge to click a picture. You go back, open up the camera, click a picture, no problems. Phone is performing all right. So now let's review the picture in the album and just to show you guys all of the applications are still running in the background. This is the picture that we just snapped. This is the picture that I snapped earlier today with the front facing camera. Let's go back. So now I want to go back to my music player no problems 
calculator no problems now let's see how much RAM is being used uh, one point around 1.1 gigabytes is still free you can see it over here let's check the temperatures of the phone so let me just go ahead and launch the CPU Z app and you can see all of the other apps are still running the battery temperature is 29 degrees and the CPU is running at 35.9 degrees Celsius and it's decreasing one of the key selling points of the Xperia XA Ultra is the front facing camera the front facing camera of the Xperia XA Ultra is a 16 megapixel shooter and as crazy as it might sound the front facing camera also comes with optical image stabilization and a selfie flash so let me just demonstrate to you guys the selfie flash so right now the flash is turned on I'm gonna click a picture you can see the autofocus works just fine there we go as easy as that and also this phone has gesture support so if you can't really reach the shutter button all you need to do is do this with your hand and the picture will be clicked automatically pretty darn awesome so here I'm going to review the picture that I just clicked so if I zoom in here you can see how good the quality is you can even see the individual rings ring design on the camera lens so yeah pretty darn good photo quality from the front facing camera actually I did click some sample pictures with the uh, front facing camera in the evening so this is one if I zoom in let me just increase the brightness a little bit if I zoom in you guys can see how good the quality is out you know what I'll do uh, I'll upload these pictures and I'll put it in the video description so you guys can see it yourself but yeah the front facing camera on this phone is absolutely amazing it's even better than the front facing camera on the Xperia XZ so let me just demonstrate that turn the flash off and what I'm gonna do here is click a picture of that right over there and we'll see which phone does better so you can see there is snapped a picture and if I zoom in you guys will be able to read this text on the box and let's click the same picture with the Xperia XZ so here I have my Xperia XZ let's launch the camera front facing camera is already running so same settings superior auto there we go and you guys can already tell the camera interface is exactly the same on the Xperia XA Ultra but as you can see there is a clear difference in the picture quality let me just increase the brightness here looking at the pictures I can clearly tell the front facing camera on the Xperia XA is much better now the example of this you can see over here this uh, Sony logo on the box it is much more clear on the Xperia XA than the Xperia XZ now obviously this is because of the bigger sensor size on the Xperia XA Ultra sorry I had to sleep last night it's the uh, very next day it's 21st January 12:54 a.m. so let's continue with the review and talk about the rear camera the rear camera on the Xperia XA Ultra is a 21.5 megapixel camera uh, the quality is reasonably good when it's you know it's daylight when it's getting the uh, sufficient amount of light but the uh, low light quality of the rear camera kinda sucks uh, the front facing camera has absolutely no problems uh, doing it does churn out 
pretty reasonably good photos in low light but, but in the daytime the rear camera really shines and I'll show you some uh, sample pictures that I just clicked today evening and by the way guys uh, check the video description description if you wanna see these full high resolution photos so here you can see this is shot by the rear camera of this phone the images are fairly high resolution let me just turn the brightness up and turn the auto rotate on yeah that's pretty good and if I zoom in the picture does not pixelate and look at the amount of details that are there in the uh, picture now obviously I'll put the uh, full size images in the video description so you can check it out yourself because uh, showing you guys off in front of the camera like this it's pretty lame and absurd but hey uh, look at the amount of details on this picture that's really amazing yeah like I said this camera does pretty well uh, when there is sufficient amount of light but yeah it does not really do well when it when the uh, and doesn't really do well in low light situations and this is another one these are from the uh, rear camera if I zoom in you guys can see the amount of details in this picture absolutely amazing so I think that's it for the review of this phone guys thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these I'll see you all later.